Okay, here we are. Time to get some lights set up for the two smoker KX125. Going a different route this time. We are powering it with an M12 for Milwaukee battery. I just realized I had this laying around in my garage. I don't have the drill, but I do have the charger and a battery, which is good enough. So, so what we're gonna be doing with this, we have this nice little handy dandy, uh, basically adapter that I got off of eBay, you know? The M12 plugs right into that. It comes in four pieces. You get two of these and the base. The M12 goes nicely in there. Like. Oh. Like so. <laughs> Snaps in there nice and smoothly straight like that and you know place this wherever you want it and wire it up it's already pre-wired and everything 12 volts um which should be hopefully enough for my system um just in case i do have a fuse that i saw people been using i got my nice slim led two row plus the ones on the side they supposed to be flood style lights so She'll be plenty bright. I got these off of Amazon. Um, everything I got off of Amazon except for these adapters. And uh, I'm going to be hooking up that with hopefully Velcro. Hopefully that works. If not, I'm going to have to drill into the seat because I plan on putting it under the seat where the airbox, you know, is. So um, The lights came with these little, you know, hookup thing to rotate it but it didn't come with the the light stand holder whatever you want to call this little piece got this a two piece off Amazon I think that was like eight dollars nine dollars um also got the switch you know on and off switch for the on the handlebars I don't have a soldering iron but I have these low heat solder connectors no need to solder, you just, as you can see there, apply heat on the connector, and you're good to go. Comes with different sizes, different colors. I got a shrink wrap, shrink heat wrap, whatever you want to call it. Some extra 14 gauge wire, because all I got is this few little wires. Just wanted, you know, some new wires. I know I need in the future anyway. I already have my glue gun with these extra strong black, you know, glue for it to seal everything up that needs to be sealed. So, my cheap little wire cutters that do the job. But this is pretty much everything you need electrical tape, got to mention that. But everything you need. Only thing I may or may not need is the drill. Um, and some bolts to drill that into the bottom of the seat if the Velcro don't hold. Perfect for me to put it right there on the front. It's going to go right there. I'm either going to use the already, the bolt that I have or get one a little longer. The uh, front plastic bolt. Because I won't be using that because I've already using this... Uh, newer style front number plate that i took off my 450 i got the black one on there so this is the original one that came on the 450 so we're gonna be putting that on there so i might have to cut this little part off if it's getting in the way of the the light stand okay so this is not my first rodeo with the light set up as you can see my kx 450 has a headlight and back brake lights. I'll put the link below for both those videos to show you how to do that, but we about to do it again on the two smoker. So, simple wiring diagram we got here. 
same one I used in the last video. Battery positive goes to the light positive. Battery negative goes to the switch positive. Light negative goes to the switch negative. What you always want to do before you get too deep in, you know, hooking the bike up, you want to make sure your circuit works. So I'm about to plug everything up real quick. Just, you know, tied together with some electrical tape real fast and just make sure my light setup works. So let's get to it. Not long. There we go. So I know that my circuit works. Now I can confidently that shit is bright as hell. <laughs> Put it on the bike. Let's do it. Okay. So, after messing around with the bike a little bit, I came to realize that under the seat wouldn't work. Well, in the airbox attached to the bottom of the seat wouldn't work just because um, trying to take the seat on and off is just not enough clearance. So, I figured out the best way to do it in the airbox would be left side panel just like this and it kind of sits flush flat on here and it's like at the bottom of the panel on the left side of the uh, air filter it's not touching the air filter it's still room in there so and I can basically hopefully velcro this to it and it kind of like sits in like a little pocket in there so it's like it's kind of like a snug fit Hopefully I can just Velcro it in there and it has no problem. And then we're going to figure out our wiring. I like to try to do it without drilling anything, drilling through the plastic. So, so I like to use Velcro and kind of sneak through the plastic. So we're going to figure something out. Let's do it. Pretty much shrink wrapped almost the whole line well a good portion of the line all the way start off with the duct and the electrical tape because I had to but and then we shrink wrapped so it's nice and neat almost all the way pretty much till it get to the air box down through there Yeah. 
through here. I'm going to make it to the air ball and do their thing. Like I said, but yeah, I think I'm going to actually do one more. Okay, so let's get this back in there. I've already verified when the seat is uh, seated on here, there's a little gap in between. So this won't be, you know, um, it won't be getting squished by the seat. So I've already verified that. It might be better like that. Yeah, I actually like it a little better like that. Might have kept the one of the wires a little longer so I would have room to maneuver that in and out when I need to take it. But I think I might have kept the wires a little long, but that's okay because, like I said, I'm going to add some kind of connection so I can easily remove the full battery pack from the bike. One, two, three. See how bright it is when we turn out all the light. There it is. Lights on the two smoker.